Amiri Sarah Gonzalez. Yeah. I'm Ain okay. Alexander. And I'm Elizabeth Pinnock. And the Swat Walk was sponsored by Lips. Expressions of Female Sexuality, and it's a club that just got started on campus. Um, as well as a publication, and at the end of the semester, we publish writings from female identified students about the topic of the semester, and the semester's topic is Forbidden Desires. We sponsored this event um, in light of um, everything that's been going on, I guess, in the United States and America recently. Um, so basically, Slutwalks got started on April 3rd of last year. Um, in January, a police officer in Toronto had said that women should avoid dressing like sluts so that they wouldn't be raped or sexually assaulted. And we believe that this is indicative of society teaching women don't get raped rather than teaching men don't rape. And um, we think it's really important for everyone to think about the social construction of the word slut and how it restricts female sexuality and how it justifies violence against women. Um, so we're asking people to question their use of the slut. Also, it's a push for autonomy um, as well as people have the, the, they have the ability and the right to make decisions to have sex with people and not be judged for it. Um, it's about people stop being categorizing and pushing things in a box and making people fit in a certain way. And like I said, autonomy is the biggest push. You can have sex and you should not be judged for having consensual sex. There should be no double standard. No double standard. Men are studs, women are sluts. It's ridiculous. We tend to privilege male sexuality in our culture um, just by a way a woman's dressed. She's ready to have sex or, you know, she's been drinking, she's ready to have sex. But we don't think anything besides a yes is a no. Do you all feel safe in Boone? For the most part, yes. Um, although we didn't plan this event around recent events at Appalachian, we think it comes at a time where it's really important to think about the social construction of rape and sexual assault and why we justify it and victim blame women. Gotcha. All right, thank you all very much. Real men don't break! 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 Real